Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are looking at some of the patches that I've created on my Line 6 Helix. Uh, and today we're looking at the acoustic tones that I've got. Uh, but more specifically, it's not, it's not actually for my acoustic guitar, it's for my uh, piezo loaded electric guitar. This one here. Very beautiful Music Man JP6, the John Petrucci uh, model which has a piezo pickup built in, which if you don't know already, basically gives you a very convincing acoustic sound. So I thought I would share some of the sounds I've got. So the way I've got my, the way I use this guitar and the, and the Helix for my gigs is I have this stereo cable that comes out, uh, which goes into the, the input of the Helix and also to the auxiliary, the auxiliary input of the Helix. So there's two inputs there and I can have uh, my, magnetic coil pickups and my piezo pickups um, that the Helix can kind of ch uh, tone shape separately. Uh, so the top line here is my acoustic sound and the bottom line here is my um, electric guitar sound. Uh, and I've got some um, snapshots that I've created recently that I've been playing with. Uh, so this first one here is acoustic only. So I've got my guitar set to being set to play both at the same time. So on the acoustic on the acoustic only snapshot, uh, the electric sound has been blocked. So we get this kind of sound. So very quite a very nice sound. So check this out. I've added a bit of reverb there, as you can hear. Um, so I would use a song on Dare I Play It. I'll play a couple of seconds of it. I'm sure you will recognize that famous Oasis song. So it's nice to use something like this, where this is also my backup guitar. And if, so if my main guitar breaks a string or breaks down for whatever reason, then I, I can rely, I can fall back on this one. But this also is my acoustic, creates my acoustic sounds. Um, and it's better to get that piezo acoustic sound than using like a clean uh, electric guitar sound. So it's very convenient to have. Uh, if you want, I can double take that. Uh, what the double take does is it makes it sound like you've double tracked your guitar, but obviously you're using it live. So I've put acoustic double take, because if I go to my stomp boxes, I've got one for the uh, electric as well, which we'll get to in a moment. That's what the uh, double take sounds like. If you're hearing some distortion from, from my tone there, I think it's because my battery is running out on, on the guitar. Right, my second snapshot, acoustic and electric, and I've panned them. So you're gonna, if you wanna hear this properly, you're gonna have to put some headphones on or at least put some de uh, listen through some decent speakers. So I've got that on, I've put some chorus on the, on the electric guitar. I haven't got the double take on, actually I haven't got them on either because it's gonna be panned anyway, which is why I didn't have it. So here's what that sounds like. All right, so when would I use that? So we do sometimes have to do that uh, Justin Timberlake song, um, Like I Love You. And there's a little kind of breakdown bit in the middle, which uh, I'll switch to that. I used to do it where I'd toggle from the, uh, the switch here on the guitar. This switch, by the way, will switch between whether you use your uh, magnetic core pickups or your piezo. I've got it set in the middle, so it's set to both at the moment, and I'm just changing through the, the Line 6 Helix at the moment. So, I don't know if I'd normally have to double take on. I'll leave it off for the moment. And then I'll switch to. I just want to learn. Baby. 
The other song I use this for is Faith by uh, George Michael. And I have a special Faith solo um, preset here, or snapshot here, where it takes off the... and goes to a clean-ish electric sound. So how does that, how does that work? Let's, uh, let's find out. I have a spare snapshot if I come up with anything else that I need to create. But yeah, there you go. That's my acoustic bank that I use for my acoustic sounds with my piezo loaded guitar. If I was to use an actual acoustic guitar, I'd probably create something different because I think the input levels are different and it kind of works in a different way. Uh, but for what I'm doing at the moment, this is working for me really well. So I hope you enjoyed that. So subscribe to see other tone videos I'm doing with the Helix. I've created a bunch of other ones with some other amps and some other setups. This one's a bit more left field. Um, but yeah, as I said, subscribe to see some more of those. And if you enjoyed this video, if you found any use in it, please consider liking and obviously subscribing. That'd be great. I'm still trying to hit my first 1000 subscribers. And if you subscribe, that will uh, count towards that. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you are well, and I will see you in the next video. Mm-hmm.